The worst lie detector results on The Jeremy Kyle Show. When someone goes to a show like The Jeremy Kyle Show, they already have suspicions of their own. Facing the truth hurts in most cases. Today we count down some of the worst lie detector results. Remember to tell us what you think about the compilation after watching the video. 10. Jordan Jordan and Kelly had problems with their relationship, and they decided to get a baby to mend it. A very wrong move. Babies do not fix relationships in which they're already broken. Jeremy asked Jordan, Since the start of your relationship, have you kissed anyone else passionately? He said, no. The lie detector confirmed that was a lie. Poor Kelly didn't wait for the rest of the results. She walked backstage and flooded herself in tears. Jordan and Jeremy's team followed her to try and comfort her. Jordan said that he wanted to repeat the test because the first one was faulty. He also asked to see the results of the other questions, and he had failed every single question. Like everyone else who failed the test, Jordan said he was nervous when he took the test. He kept insisting that the lie detector was faulty and that he never had anything to do with any other woman. Come on, man. Tell the truth, and you might get another chance. Some people look so innocent on the outside, but in the real sense, they're not so innocent. 9. Charlie Sam was shocked to find out that another man had the keys to his house. They lived in the house with his girlfriend, and he didn't give the guy the keys, so only one other person would have given the man the keys. He had split up with his girlfriend, but there were still hidden truths beneath them. Sam admitted that he kissed another girl when he was in a relationship with Charlie, but he never took a test to prove that it was just a kiss. Charlie, on the other hand, accepted to take the test. Trust me, when she walked to the stage, she was the sweetest girl with the cutest walk ever. She wanted to to start over with Sam, and her case was compelling. She admitted that she kissed another man, but felt horribly on the other question. Charlie had sexual relationships with someone else at the time when she was dating Sam. She got so hysterical and asked for another lie detector test, but Sam didn't fall for it. You have heard the phrase, too good to be true. Well, the next guy on the show said that his relationship was too good to be true. If you go digging for something, you will surely get what you're looking for. Eight. Shannon and Jamie. Jamie and Shannon dated for about eight months. It was all rosy until Jamie realized that Shannon had a lot of male friends. First of all, I don't see how that's a crime. Who said anyone couldn't have friends of the opposite sex while they're dating? Other than that, their relationship was perfect. The thing was, Jamie felt insecure because he cheated on Shannon a week into their relationship. They both said that they loved each other and would continue with the relationship when they passed the test. I don't understand why they took the test in the first place because they were doing fine. Well, they both failed the test. Tell me the truth. This test says you're a liar, love. <laughs> I have not done that, so do it again. Their relationship wasn't that glamorous after all. I believe they knew the truth from the beginning, but they were too scared to face it. I think when people agree to take the lie detector test, they believe that they can manipulate the results because of a level of confidence that some of them have, and it's insane. 7. Jack and Becca Jack and Becca both took the lie detector tests on the show. Jack refused to answer the questions based on the entire relationship. He wanted to answer based on the past year that they were together probably because he did much worse before. The staff agreed to his request, but he still failed the test. It was a big blow because if you are given a chance to pick a period ideally, anyone will pick a time where they were faithful to their spouse. The lie detector proved that during the time that he was together with Becca, he passionately kissed and had sexual contact with another woman. Becca agreed to take the test based on the entire relationship. She was super confident she would pass the test. She also failed the test, quite terribly. When she was together with Jack, she also kissed and had sexual contact with another man. It's easier to get over a betrayal if the third party in question is a stranger. It's something else when they're close family members. 6. Laura Laura and her husband Mark were okay before she told him something that left him broken for months. Laura said that she slept with Mark's father. Later on, she said that it was a lie and she only speculated that to get Mark off her back. Whoa, there's no way she would have said such a thing unless Mark happened between her and Mark's dad. Mark became suspicious and eventually doubted whether the daughter they had together was his. He requested a DNA test and the lie detector test for Laura. The DNA results confirmed that he was the father of their daughter. Jeremy read out the lie detector results next. Laura failed the test. When they were together, she had sexual relations with the man in question, Mark's dad. It's just shady. 
Of all the men in the world, how does one pick their man's father to fool around with? Anyone could see the pain registered in Mark's eyes, and the saddest part was that he wasn't ready to let Laura go. It's true love, people, and it hurts. People play the victims on the show to make the other person look bad. Some of these results should come at the beginning so that viewers hate the right person from the start. 5. Luis and Peter Peter bragged that he was a ladies' man and he could sleep with any woman he wanted, but chose to be faithful to Louise. She set up a dating profile to catch Peter cheating, but he didn't fall for it. Louise said that if Peter failed the test, she would leave him. She admitted that he kissed three people before and Peter knew about it. All that time, she was so innocent and everyone was on her side, including Jeremy. She was 100% sure that she would pass the test. You didn't think to say it. I know I did. Then why did you admit? Peter said that he only checked out the women on the dating sites, but he never got intimate with any of them. Well, the tables quickly turned. Louise left out the tiny detail that she slept with two other men. She also failed every other question in the test. Peter wasn't any better either. He also failed all the questions on the test. Wow, two cheaters exposing themselves on TV. There were two options for them fix their immature relationship, or break up for good. Louise said that she was done with the relationship, but it seemed highly unlikely. It's insane to steal from a spouse because that's like stealing from yourself, especially if it's money meant to give the couple a better life. Four. Spencer. Jessica saved some money which was supposed to be a deposit for her new home with Spencer. The money went missing, and she suspected that he took it. He hid the money in a cabinet in the house, and only the two of them knew where it was. When she realized that the money was missing, she called Spencer and he denied the accusation. Jessica was sure that he took the money, but she still wanted him to take the test. There was a 1% chance that he didn't steal from her, and she hoped that it was true. Spencer accused Jessica's family members, but she said that they always left money lying around the house and nobody touched it. If he failed the test, that would be the end of their relationship. Sadly, he failed. The lie expert also wrote down that Spencer behaved in a manner likely to suggest that he intended to manipulate the result. I don't understand why people accept to take the lie detector test, especially when they know perfectly well that they will fail, and if they have been to the show before. 3. Holly and Aaron Holly and her boyfriend were previously on the show because she suspected that he had cheated on her. Aaron took the test and passed all the questions. After some time, he suspected that she cheated on him and only went to the show to cover her tracks. There was an alarm on the first show. When Aaron passed the test, Holly's reaction was bizarre, and Jeremy asked her about it. She didn't look excited for someone who had just found out that her boyfriend was faithful all along. He was determined to make the relationship work because they had a baby together. Holly was also positive that she would pass the test the second time they went to the show. Well, she didn't. When they were together with Aaron, she had sexual contact with another man. He was so mad that she had him do the test, yet she was the guilty culprit the whole time. The guy barely had any facial expressions, but he knew how to stand up and walk away. Family games are entertaining and relaxing. These games come in different forms and levels. However, there are games such as Truth or Dare, which can cause an actual drift in a relationship. 2. Kim and Nathan Kim and Nathan were on the show before because of a cheating incident. She failed the lie detector test and proved that she cheated on Nathan. They were back on the show because she believed that Nathan Revenge cheated on her. Kim's mom was also on the show. The three previously participated in a game of Truth or Dare. Nathan's dare was to touch his mother-in-law's breasts, and he did it. It's not just disrespect, but wrong on so many levels. To make things worse, Kim was present to witness the ordeal, and she was okay with it. It seems they enjoyed playing the game because there was another incident. Kim kissed another man on a different occasion when they both played the game. They both took the test and failed. Nathan didn't sleep with any other woman, but he kissed and had sexual contact with someone else other than the one he admitted to with his mother-in-law. Kim, on the other hand, failed all the questions, including the intercourse one, meaning she cheated on her husband again. If a woman meets a good man and she cheats on him, she will be devastated to lose him, not because she lied, but because she will never find another good man. 1. Cat. Cat and David knew each other for 16 months and they were engaged for 15. 
Wow, that was fast. When they met, Kat was two days overdue, and David told her family that he would marry her because she shouldn't raise the baby on her own. Their life was amazing until Kat felt that David was no longer giving her attention. Guess what she did? Yeah, she sought affection from another man. Their wedding was put on hold. Kat admitted that she passionately kissed a man on one occasion. She also agreed to many other things, including contacts with another man and flirtatious texts with someone else. Well, Kat also failed the other questions on the test. Judging by her reaction, she was more more surprised with the results than David was. She said no. Why'd you say no? I'm telling the truth. Tess says you're a liar. No, I'm not. What's strong, is it? Kat then had a hysterical breakdown on the show. How perfect. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy the show. Be sure to leave us a thumbs up. Have an excellent day, everyone.